I'm Lewis Smiley and in this vlog I'll be discussing the entrepreneurial marketing concept using Go Burrito, a Lancaster based burrito bar who also promote local musicians uh, as well as putting on music events. With slogans like Beats and Eats and Go Burrito, Northern Soul Food, their aim is growing community around the love of music and food. The main thrust of entrepreneurial marketing is an emphasis on adapting marketing to forms that are appropriate to small medium sized enterprises acknowledging the likely pivotal role of the entrepreneur at any, in any marketing activities. Stokes and others apply entrepreneurial marketing to small businesses with little resources, so they can rely on more creative and sometimes shocking marketing techniques. In my opinion, EM is very complex if executed properly. The best ideas are simple at the surface but highly sophisticated in creating that buzz around a business and built with a capability to adapt with the times and the changing environment. EM is defined by Morris in 2002 as the proactive identification and exploitation of opportunities for acquiring and retaining profitable customers through in innovative approaches to risk management, resource leveraging and value creation. Burke and Holtman said, knowledge of entrepreneurial marketing is just in its infancy. Although it was from 2002, I still feel it's relevant as entrepreneurial marketing will always be in its infancy as it will always change extensively one way or the other. One thing is certain with EM, uh, we'll always have limited resources and unlimited creativity and innovation. All businesses, whether it's big or small, are affected by both micro and macro environments. I'll be applying the pesto model to Go Burrito. Socio-cultural forces include the population's values behaviours and overall characteristics. The rise of veganism in the UK has prompted many takeaway food businesses uh, to include more vegan and vegetarian options. People are also a lot more concerned where their food comes from and how much waste there is these days. Go Burrito's positioning on, fresh, on freshly cooked local food is a massive plus for them and something they can market more. Cutting waste is something businesses, including Go Burrito, need to look into further. To make a conscious effort to be more eco-friendly replicates the feelings of the population. Uh, embracing culture equals being culture embracing you. These forces also link to the environmental forces. Cutting waste is fast becoming the most important thing to think about. We need to make a conscious effort to rectify the damage to the planet we've already done. So Go Burrito could capitalise on the interest of cutting waste. Technological forces. Mobile phones and their connection to the internet are the main thing altering the way everything has been marketed. A lot of people would now rather pick up the phone and order food rather than go into a shop and order. Go Burrito marketed themselves as an experience that can be seen from just outside the shop. Loud music and good vibes emulate from the place and it would be a shame to lose that to technology. But in this technological age, an app marketed towards students and young professionals where, uh, where they can order their burrito and pick it up or have it delivered if they wish. They even have a page dedicated to future events and new local music. I believe this would be a wise move to gain more custom, uh, invest more in the community vibe. Kotler describes the microenvironment as the actors close to the company that affect its ability to serve its customers, the company, suppliers, marketing intermediates, customer markets, competitors and publics. For Go Burrito, word of mouth is their number one entrepreneurial marketing tactic, with the customers being their most important stakeholder. Using such things as the Titanic Challenge Burrito, along with different vibe to usual takeaways, gives it a cooler feel. Suppliers ultimately have the power to change the prices that are currently relatively cheap for what you get. A price increase in ingredients equals an increase in price for the Go Burrito customers, which would be a negative for, the reta for retaining the customers. Competitors don't really exist currently in and around Lancaster as the big businesses just can't keep up with the fast movements of the owners jumping on new ideas when the time's right. Go Burrito has made itself unique with the linking of music and good local food cooked in store. Go Burrito are currently smashing the face-to-face -face aspect of the business where target customers walk past and are interested to go inside. For me I would focus on the social media side of the business it started strong in 2011 when regular social media posts were put on uh, but has trailed off over the years. To grow further they need, to, they need a further reach. Pictures of people completing the challenge burrito uh, with their time and an online leaderboard would be a great way to get young people involved and interested. These pictures would also generate shares between friends and family which for me social media shares are just another form of word of mouth. 
highly influential and therefore a great marketing technique.